hello, hello. Welcome to my studio. We have Sharpies today. We are going to do some abstract painting. With these bad boys. Now there is a twist with the whole painting with Sharpies thing because we need a magic ingredient. Behold, I am your magic ingredient. Yeah, so we're going to use 91% isopropyl alcohol to make this work. You know how many places I had to go to find this? All right, I have some ceramic tiles and I'm really excited to do this with you guys. We are going all out. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys how this works. Basically, you grab a Sharpie, you color whatever you want on here. You don't have to draw a picture because what you're gonna do later is take this alcohol. It has to be above 90% for this to work. I have read on Pinterest that if you do the 70%, it does not work as well. So 90% or above. Make sure you have good ventilation. This stuff is strong. I kind of want to do <laughs> something more like a rainbow. Ooh, that cap noise was so satisfying. I guess, ooh, I'll just do a bunch of little like circles and hope this goes well. <laughs> That looks so cool <laughs> just by itself, but we are going to put that magic stuff on it now. So let's do that. You know what? We're missing something and that something is for you guys. So let's take a mini adventure real quick. All right. To everyone watching this. Since this is for you guys, uh, could, I, could I have a volunteer come up here and open this? Like just hop in the video real quick. Nobody? Okay, come on. I would have been way more excited to open a gift, but I will open your gift and present it to you. Well, there's some green tissue paper. The suspense. Ooh, this is cool. Okay. Get your first two months of Skillshare free with the link in the video description. And actually, Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. So Skillshare is an online platform where you can learn from thousands of different courses. They have finance, graphic design, illustration, cinematography, the list goes on. If you're a naturally curious person like me, or maybe you have a lot of hobbies and you're looking to really hone in on one of those, this is a wonderful community for you. So one of the things that I've been doing on my channel lately is actually changing up my filming and editing style. A lot of you guys have noticed this and pointed it out in the last month. And I'm gonna tell you where I am learning to do that. It's actually cinematography courses on Skillshare teaching me different filming techniques. So one of the courses I actually just finished earlier today is DIY filming, creating pro video with tools you already own. This course is created by Mark Sersosimo. If any of you are curious, I will link it down below. Something I really like about Skillshare is first of all, I don't have to leave my house. But second of all, if I'm traveling, I can still take my courses. It's a lot more affordable than signing up to take a class in person because an annual membership is less than $10 a month. And if you decide to do a premium membership, you can actually get unlimited access to all the courses, which is really sweet. Since it's winter and we get cozy inside, this is a great time to use those two free months of Skillshare. So cozy up with a cup and enjoy your first two months for free. Got our little dropper. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> this is sweet, yo. What? Oh my. 
goodness. What kind of art sorcery is this? Oh, cool. That is so neat. Ooh, it's hard to like um, draw on it after that. I'm gonna try to use this with the next one. Okay, so I'm envisioning some blues. Now, what I want to happen is a cool like marble effect. I'm gonna take my awkward spray cap off. Yeah, CVS was sold out of just the regular bottles. So I could spray this at one of these. That's a good idea. Oh. <coughs> So satisfying. Not as satisfying? Hmm. Let's try a dropper full of gold ink. <gasps> what in the world? Did you see that? Whoa, it like forms a membrane thing. Okay, admittedly, these materials <laughs> probably are not the most compatible together. I should probably be using the gold when this is dry, but something about it kind of looks cool. This one is gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be all those little scribbles. Why does a really convoluted scribble look so cool? Now time to destroy it. Or maybe succeed, who knows. We're gonna spray this and hope it looks really cool. <gasps> <gasps> that is sweet. This one is a little more subtle than I thought it would be, but in person it looks really cool. It mostly brings back memories of looking at stuff under microscope slides, so I kind of like it. Alright, should we try to redeem ourselves with the blue and green one? I think we should. <laughs> Okay, since the alcohol really like dilutes the color once everything dries, I'm going in pretty hard with the dark blue this time. Do you guys think this one will work? It's amazing what some gold ink can do. And once this is varnished, I think it'll really look like a geode or something. <laughs> I love it. Since this is abstract art, let's have some fun with this. I'm 
spray it again. I think the spray effect is really cool. That is sweet. You know, something tells me we need... Well, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say yellow, so just uh, gonna take that. This one's pretty sweet. It gives me like 60s vibes. I like it. Wow, this one looks like a galaxy. It's so cool. Okay, this marbling geode technique is officially my favorite. <laughs> Number two, I think I want to do this really bright pink. Man, does this not remind you of like an 80s sweater or what? <laughs> this is the brightest yellow ever, wow. Whoa. The effect it has on that pink. Oh my. I think I want to stir this one around. That is the, the most satisfying thing. Whoa. I feel like an adult who found kid pics all over again. Oh my. That is so cool. Well. I'm not really sure what happened, but I left the room, left this to dry for an hour, and I came back and it looked like this. It still looks pretty cool. It just looks like some pigment separation happened in through here with the greens. All right, so this was a little different than my usual videos, but I hope you liked it. And if you have a Menards near you, these ceramic tiles are only 16 cents a piece. So if you want a really cheap, like, DIY gift idea for the holidays, highly recommend this. Like, I already had all these Sharpies at my house, and this is a really sweet gift idea. So, I'm really excited. I'm going to be gifting people coasters. <laughs> um, I am going to varnish these. But do you see how reflective they are on camera? I figured it would be harder to film them if I varnished them in the video. So I'm going to do that like tomorrow. <laughs> so like by the time you guys see this video. They will be varnished. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to get your two free months of Skillshare with the link in the description. Have a good day guys. Bye!